It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This episode 1588, recorded Thursday, September 14th, 2016. Good vibrations. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have everything from cat toys to water bowls to power banks and vibrating brushes. And a classic warehouse, all next on The Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D And OMG chat on your PC It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs Growing, growing LEDs Get ready for The Gizwiz now yeah. Now it is time for The Gizwiz And here he is, uh, the... The Jedi of gadgets, wow. Dick D. Bartolo, the master, the the ringleader. You <laughs> get those gadgets and you show them off. Uh, there you go. So, uh, how how are you doing this week, Dicky D? Uh, I am doing good. I went to. I, I really go to. The, you go to the movies a lot. I don't go much. Not often. I did actually go to one recently with my my parents. What did we see? We saw uh, to hell, for Hell or High Water. This is what we saw. Hell or High Water. Okay. Now, there's so much content everywhere that I don't even think of the movies anymore. Uh, but there was uh, – a man said there's a possibility we might do Sully. So I went to see that. And you know about that movie, right? The, no. the, uh, so the guy, the captain who landed. Oh, yes. Yes. In the Hudson. The, yes. In the Hudson River. Uh, and it was very good. I had to go by myself. Dennis said, I'm not crazy about flying, and I certainly don't want to see a move, <laughs> this movie. So this the amazing be, thing about it work. is it's really not a disaster movie. It, they cover the disaster, but it's not one of those movies where you meet everybody on the plane and then you oh, see right. them all. You know, there, There's a little bit of uh, – basically, it's about – the whole incident, I think, took two minutes and 40 seconds, and that's what you see on the screen. The, the, most of the movie is about the trial after it and, and U.S. Air saying that, did he do the right thing? And uh, it, was, it's very, it was very exciting. So even though we all know the outcome, um, it, it's worth seeing. And so worth. everything in this movie could have taken place in two minutes. No, uh, the, they take the, uh, two minutes yeah. and blew it. Up. No, I'm just... <laughs> well, actually, they they made it into a very interesting movie. I never knew the backstories about the uh, uh, the National Safety Administration, whatever the the, the uh, flight thing is, is saying that he may he really could have gone back to LaGuardia and and how he responded. It's all it's it's very interesting, and it's done in like 97 minutes. That's nice. And, yeah, you don't have to be afraid. It's, it's of, like reading the book you know. on something that uh, you know you've heard a lot about. Is yes, getting the exactly. full picture is is interesting. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's good. So, That's good. Yeah. yeah. So that was it. And you? What did you do? Oh uh, man, this last week uh, has been a whirlwind. I've been uh, doing a new series on my personal YouTube channel, OMG Chad, um, and we revamped the Patreon for that and have been uh there's an option that you can play on the server that i'm playing on in the story that you're seeing on the youtube stuff so that's been it's just been trying to figure out everything uh with that and uh it's been fun it's been a lot of work uh but it's it's been fun saw some friends over the weekend that sort of stuff um it's crazy this you know new new media it feels like a startup all the time it feels like it just never ends with okay. There's this now. There's this project. Okay, I have to learn how to, you know, manage this plugin. And now, oh, I need to add this server now up to this backup solution. And a lot of times, it feels feels very similar to a startup, as all the you know with all the different pieces that you have to put together. And you know, I'm not an expert at any of it. And just moving from one thing to the next just to make wow. sure that nothing falls apart. Well, in my eye, you're like an engineer. Well, you know, <laughs> just, just that little uh, 
one caster that the you mono set up. caster, right? The mono caster, right. yeah, it's right. like amazing, right? Um, and I've been, I'm, I've also been trying to figure out the audio here. The last episode and a few, there's been a kind of a hiss on my mic, and I've been trying to figure that out. And I uh, just bought a, a product uh, used on a, a website that I had never heard of. Oh, you know what? I, I can see Chad in that close up there. You have hiss on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Gosh. Okay. You see, it just hit, hit hit off. D hit off. D, D, there it is. There you go. There. Yeah. Turn that off. That, oh. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. I should have had yeah. you look at it <laughs> two weeks ago. I um, know the little stuff. I don't know any of the wiring, but I know what those labels mean. <laughs> right. Um, so anyway, it's it's uh, uh, I, I, that's what I enjoy is a, as there's a problem, trying to find a solution. Sometimes I even like it when it's just like I don't I don't know, but I know someone who might know, and you know I reach out to them and and they say, oh yeah, I could whip this up in you know half a day, get something custom built. And that that always feels like the best because it's like nobody else is doing this so much so that I had to go get a guy to to make this thing possible. Um, so yeah, and then uh, some other cool news is I have a poster series of my cats. And the last poster just came in, and I'll start selling that on Saturday. Um, so that's exciting, too. Well, it's, wait a minute. I'm going to get Charlie. If you're <laughs> making money from your cats. Charlie is uh, you, he, he, untapped market potential. He is uh, an untapped market. Well, yeah. he's, acting, uh, he's acting in a video today. <laughs> so. there, there you go. So you got to get him in front of the camera, make them have a fan base, and then, just like uh, in, there was a movie, Spaceballs, merchandising, merchandising, merchandising. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is what you got to do. Yeah, so no. Uh, so anyway, so there, it's been a busy week. It's been fun. It hasn't been any one big thing like, oh, I'm uh, you know, going to do this thing. But uh, uh, it's been a lot of uh, small things uh, leading up to a big project. By the way, that reminds me, next week we'll be recording the live show on Monday. Because I'm heading out to Anaheim, California for uh, the biggest convention for me this year, which is MineCon. And uh, you're heading to Interbike? I'm uh, heading to an event called Interbike in Vegas. All the newest bikes and bike gadgets. <gasps> uh, that's, uh, that, I, I, you've been there before. Right? Uh, not for about 10 years. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. So, yeah. And then tomorrow night, it, tomorrow night is Pepcom, which is why we're doing this tonight. Right. So right. I'm looking forward to that. Lots of Christmas gadgets coming up. Yes, yes, yes. This is when the show writes itself is coming up in a, in a few months. Uh, I mean, Apple. whenever Apple comes out with the newest iPhone, that's the start of the season of, of gadgets that... Uh, are going to come out. You know, once Apple announces that, it feels like, okay, it's Christmas time. All of the things are going to get announced for Christmas. Get yes. ready. Yes. Um, okay, so let's, I guess, jump in to some let's of our jump gadgets. Let's jump in. Uh, I talked about Charlie the dog. So this is Charlie the spokesperson with our first gadget of the night. Madest writer in the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. People like surprises, kids especially, but I found over the years of having dogs, dogs love surprises. And Charlie also loves surprises. He doesn't even know what's about to happen. But all I can tell you is that Charlie, we bought something new. Now, the, yes, see already, oh my gosh. <laughs> So it's a, it's a game, come back up to me for a second, because it's a game called Hide and Seek. Okay, it's really made, made for cats. But people on Amazon said that puppies love it. Okay? The, We're Charlie see, has great balance, Charlie doesn't he? is a big yeah. scaredy cat, so he may very well be terrified of this. Charlie, whoa, wait, no, it's in here. Oh, Charlie, what is that? What is that? He seems now, Charlie, excited. It does <laughs> something. Charlie. So that's a mouse, Chad. That, that looks insane. That, it, it's, it's captivating me. 
<laughs> See, Charlie's afraid he cats. So Charlie, he's, <laughs> he's he's scared. <laughs> he's scared. He said, "Let me try from this angle." <laughs> no, no, it's still scary from that angle too. Look at this guy, look at it's a mouse. It's a little mouse. He said, yeah, I'll wag yeah, my well, tail. Know, yeah. but... but they say that puppies like this. Tell me, no, no. He looks like he's saying, okay, you go in there. You get in there, I don't know. <laughs> well, okay. know what this is. So, that's slow, and then there's a fast speed. And let's go on to fast speed. Everybody in the chat room is saying they have they cats in there. Cats would go berserk for oh, this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I could imagine my cats would love this. Anything, anything uh, especially... With like a tunnel? Charlie, Holy maybe mackerel, they love it. Doggies will play with it. Let's see if he wants. He lo oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See? He's brave, Charlie. <laughs> your, your little friend is brave. Look at him. <laughs> okay. All right, that's hide and seek. Um, it, it's really made for cats. And this is like a scratching post up here. Charlie can't make up his mind. He thinks he would like to like it, but he's not. It runs on three, um, three AA batteries, which are not included. And on Amazon, they call it Hide and Seek, but the company calls it Hide and Squeak, <laughs> which is a funny name for it, but it makes absolutely no noise. So I guess that's why they figured let's rename it Hide and Seek. No, no game, no take us, Charlie? No, I guess. Oh, almost. Almost, it's slowly moving over. Charlie's backing up fast. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Charlie. We'll, we'll get you a different toy. Okay. Okay. He said, oh, a different toy. That I'll give you so a kiss So the pet for. teasing hide-and-seek electronic mouse hunt interactive cat toy, uh, I paid seventeen ninety nine and four ninety eight shipping. Uh, so it was not Amazon Prime. You can get it for 30 bucks and get it right away with Amazon Prime over at, well, I'm going to click and go over to over here. So over here, it's the same thing and uh, $29.99 and it's Prime. So if you don't mind waiting, you can save seven bucks. I'll have all these links on my website. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Oh, it's a real mouse. Uh oh. Timing. Bye. You gotta go get that mouse. Let's see if yeah, Charlie likes them. <laughs> likes a real mouse. Uh, real real New York uh, mice. Interesting. Yeah. That that. Whoops. Uh, that uh, is pretty amazing. Uh, it the first time it kind of hops out. It's like, huh? What what is that? Even as a human, I'm. Yeah, I know. Um, they, they should have intrigued. painted eyes on it or something. It looks a little better in some of the pictures, but basically it's just a, like a blob of black plastic. But it, it, uh, people online, uh, on this particular website, only eight people rated it, but it got like four and a half stars. But I think cats will really think this is pretty swell. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you were saying that uh, there's a version of it that's not Amazon Prime, Right. I mean, they're and the same version, some but... The same, the same version, and it seems like they already ran out of them because it says not back till uh, October 11th, but if you want to... Let's see, so I paid 18 and roughly 5 I paid 23 If you want to go to 30 bucks, 29.99, you can get it right away uh, with Amazon Prime. So both uh, uh, links are on my website. This is called, this one it looks like it's called Paw Abu. Paw Abu. Paw Abu. Oh, that's the uh, that's the brand name. That's yeah. the brand name. Yeah. Perfect. Interesting. Okay, so that is the uh, the Peekaboo Paw Abu, s s you know, cat scary <laughs> scares Charlie <laughs> gadget uh, kind, kind of device. Thing. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay, now uh, da dum bum bum. You know what? I kept I changed the rundown. Let's see. What do you have for a month? I have uh, you got a, a new water bowl. Oh yes. Okay. So I did I did put the two pet things together. So Charlie's not in this, but it's an interesting pet gadget. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Menace writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. 
So what is this? We have a control panel up here with various icons. I can't ask Dennis what it is because he filled it with water, which sort of was a giveaway. All right, so this is the Taurus water bowl, okay? And it is more than just a water bowl. It's smart, smart thinking for pet drinking. Okay, so let's see why that is. Well, first of all, so let's so we're going to go out in the car. Let's take the water bowl with us. Okay, so we're taking the water bowl with us. Can you hear that? We're taking a water bowl with us. It's already full. full. Water. Yeah. And it's not leaking. Okay, so a little bit of engineering there, and that's because it's in lock. All right. Let's go over to pour. And ba -bum. so water comes out, gravity fed, and it doesn't put a ton of water in the bowl. It will put enough in for the dog to drink. It'll keep filling it as the dog or cat drinks from it. But the idea here is that the water will stay cleaner because there's not a lot in the bowl. And the water stays cooler because this uh, rugged bowl helps keep it from uh, getting hot. Okay, now we're going over to the other setting here and that is the fill okay and that's where you fill it with water now a lot of people on Amazon said they use uh, bottled water but if you don't want to use bottled water it comes with one charcoal filter that goes in there you of course you take the cellophane off and the company says uh, one filter will last about a month and they said also every month you should totally clean the bowl, you know, with soap and water. Uh, it's a nifty idea. It's called the Taurus. And um, it is not inexpensive, but people on Amazon didn't uh, mind. This one is $49.95. <clears throat> That's the one liter. And a bigger one with twice the amount of water is $54.95. So no matter what size your dog or cat is. <laughs> get the big one it seems like a better buy uh that's it we're gonna just take a quick look over here on the computer and we can see that it comes in different colors and we have the one that the one that we have is called red and then it comes in pink and it comes in i guess that's charcoal and it comes in blue okay their their concept of colors is a little different 49.95 and it's amazon prime so, uh, free, oh, this, this is free one day shipping. That's it. 28 customer reviews and it got four out of stars. Uh, Charlie, our test dog is not here. So we can't do anything about that. Wait a minute. I test everything. I'll do it. Man, you're really taking one uh, for the team. Yeah. Uh, you're, I think you're just going to have to uh, trust Char Charlie's bark on that one. <laughs> that uh, It works out great. Um, I agree that the two-liter version seems like a much better buy at only a few dollars more. Yeah, five dollars more for double the water. And on Amazon, I it seems like people also agree. There's 28 reviews for the one liter and 248 reviews oh, for the oh, two-liter. Oh, that's liter. so funny. <laughs> So yeah, I would. I, I originally thought that this was some sort of sports equipment. By looking just at the uh, the side of it there, when you pulled it out, it looked. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, it's very clever. Like. I mean, it, it's on the expensive side, but th they worked out that stopper thing really well. I was I shaking agree. that up, and no water anywhere. Ch actually, Charlie likes this. Char Charlie is a big scaredy cat, and Fairway had a big stainless steel bowl uh which you know fairways passed on but we use it for charlie and for the first two months charlie would walk over it and go to take a drink and s obviously see himself and would leap backwards <laughs> thinking there must there's a, there's a dog in there oh down no. at the bottom drinking <laughs> And then for the next Poor two Charlie. months, if, if he wanted a drink, he would stretch out so that he could leap back really fast. Oh now, Dennis has gosh. a separate water bowl upstairs that is not stainless. Uh, but n now Charlie's gotten used to the stainless bowl. But he likes the Taurus bowl because there's no reflection at all. So. <laughs>
<laughs> that is so funny. Yeah. And Isn't this seems funny? like the perfect travel companion if uh, maybe you're doing a road trip or going on a long walk and you could just throw this in your backpack uh, yeah. sealed yeah. up. You know, it's sealed up, and you don't have to worry about carrying a bowl and water. Absolutely. And also, they said that that they keep the water level low so that fresh water keeps pouring in as the pet drinks. And the low profile, it's hard to accidentally kick it over. Yeah. So it has a lot, a lot going. For uh, it. Yeah, I really like that because, um, you know, also if let's say you're going to a coffee shop, you know, and you have your dog with you. Put your dog outside as you as you walk in. Leave the bowl there. When you come back, you don't have much water. You know, you'd probably have to spill out the water in order to move on. You don't got much water. Just toss it out, and it'll fill up uh, as the uh, as the dog drinks it. But your dog is where you can see it. Right. When you okay. I don't I don't have a dog, so I'm probably bad. Oh, okay. I'm bad. Uh, I'd have to learn this before I got a dog. <laughs> bad dog etiquette. Um, Bad dog etiquette. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, when you leave your dog in the car, you know, you could just oh. keep... Oh, kidding, <laughs> kidding, right. obviously. Right. So, you know, I, I agree for, for someone like me. It seems like a little expensive, like uh, it seems like your your first impression was. But uh, people, no one is complaining really about that on Amazon. No, they that, just that's love it. the thing, yeah. Um, anyway, okay. That's great. Now, our third, oh, I'm doing pet gadgets for ABC News, so that's why uh, this is like a preview, actually. The, the Gizmo's audience is seeing it before the ABC. Oh, exclusive audience. ABC access. Uh, yeah, we, we beat them out. Uh, so our third gadget is a very interesting travel item. So let's take a peek at that. Dickie Bartolo, Maz Mattis, try to end the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Only one person in the room, cameraman Dennis Wonderlin. So what the heck? What is that, Chad? Is, uh, is it? Go-kart. Uh, uh, RC car. <laughs> A uh, portable shaving I device. Know. I don't no, know okay. Either. It almost looks like an old-fashioned camera. Yeah, I was going to say it reminds me of the camera. Of an old yeah, camera. Yeah. Okay. This is a power bank, which uh, we're exploring for the first time. Oh, okay. Open oh, this, see this why. here. Then you open this here. Now you can hang your luggage on here, which would be a waste <laughs> of time because this isn't a scale. That was... That was several videos ago when we had the they external battery these charger scaled the built-in travel scale. Okay, so this looks like a travel scale, but it's not. So this is to hold. This is great, actually. This is great for trips. It's to hold your phone or your iPad or tablet, whatever. Okay. And I'm going to take this off so I can show you. Inside this, it is is a ten thousand. Let me see exactly wow, how big. much it is. It is the ten thousand four hundred milliamp battery. So what is that like? Four times your phone, a couple times uh, the power in your tablet. So what you can do is we have five volts out. Uh, we have one amp out for uh, small devices and two amp, 2.1 amps out for tablets. So on an airplane, you get a little connector, run it up to your phone, and for the entire flight, you don't have to worry about running out of power. Uh, this is pretty neat. So you can pretty much, so there's a bolt on the side that loosens. And then you can put this pretty much any kind of angle you want and then tighten this if for some bizarre reason you want the tablet at this angle, it pretty much stays. That looks good. Um, it's, I yeah. like this a lot. This is pretty neat. And then, of course, Especially, the battery's heavy. Uh, as I said, for travel. It's I'm probably going to use bad. this yeah. down the boat when uh, we watch videos. And comes in many colors. It's uh, 30 bucks. I'm looking over there. We're going to go over there in a second. It is. So you yell at me how much it is, Dennis. 
$30.59. It was $30.59 when I bought it. Comes in many colors. It's just called the. It has a, uh, one of those long names. I only have one. <laughs> I hate those names. I mean, right. it's kind of a petty thing. But I, I thought it was kind of strange that they. Comes with a charging cable, not this charging cable, but I didn't want to unwrap the charging cable. I don't know why they bothered having the port to charge it in the front. Because everything else is in the side, it would have been nice to maybe put it on this side. But that's okay. I mean, if you wanted to have your device very, very low, you can't have it all the way down while it's charging because this foot hits that. So now it goes all the way down. So that's uh, not much of a complaint. 30 bucks, you will easily get, I assume, a transcontinental trip with just the power in this and your device. And I'm going to look there and see how many reviews, 24 customer reviews, how many stars? Four stars, Four. Dennis? Four. Four stars. That's it. The power bank. And it comes in many colors. I was going to buy it in red, but I thought black looks less obtrusive. Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. And there it is, folded up. And here I am, folded up. Bye! <laughs> yeah, uh, and I was thinking that it, it's nice to have... Uh, I don't think that, that you were correct. The battery probably didn't weigh too much. but uh, It's a pound can, point two. A pound point whole, two. The whole system. Um, but having that as a weight, a lot of stands have to either extend the bottom section yes. of that, you know, to make sure it doesn't topple around. Well, hey, you got a little bit of weight from the battery in there. Uh, it's kind of nice. It's a nice design. Yeah. I like that. No, it really is. And it has two. You know, I thought it only had a screw thing at the bottom. And then later on, I was playing with it and I said, oh, I just realized you can really adjust this in any angle you want and then turn both these bolts and lock it there. And it's very nicely built. Yeah, I agree. I like how it folds up. It doesn't take up too much room. No, it folds up really small. I feel like the people who need, uh, there's, there's a certain type of person who just loves stands. They just crave something <laughs> to put their iPads or, you know, you've, you've always seen the iPad or a tablet uh, carrying cases with stands built in, and phones with stands built in. There's a certain type of person who loves stands. And uh, I think this is pr perfect uh, for that type of person. 10,000 milliamp hours is a very large battery. That's it, it is. Very, and, very large. And, you battery. know, on United Airlines, um, half their new fleet has no entertainment built into the seat back. Right. And what they do is... Uh, they ask. Free, they go, hey, yeah, you free, wanna... <laughs> a free Wi-Fi, exactly. And then you go to an app, and then you pick out your movies, and they stream the movies to your seat. And so this kind of thing is great for that if you if you do a lot of transcons, right. where you want to have five hours of video going. Right. So. Right. I, I mean, it's and it's so smart on the airlines point uh, part because each of those old systems built into the back of a seat. Oh my gosh. I mean, those things, A, they're heavy, they're slow, they're not Tons updated. of wires through the aircraft. Wires. I mean, yeah. they save so much money by pulling those things out and letting customers use their own devices. And yeah. on top of that, I'm, I'm much more, I, I, I don't know why, but I've, I've bought stuff through my phone, through their online entertainment stuff before. I don't think I've ever ever given one of the seat back things my credit card information i've i've done it a few times you know in in the an app you know to get wi-fi or whatever um so i think it's better for them all around to to do that type of a service so that's yeah. good and also it was fun that the stewardess it was very clever the stewardess said uh this this flight has uh, in-flight entertainment via Wi-Fi, and you need the latest United app, which uh, has the addition of being able to access our entertainment system. If it's not on your phone right now, your phones can be on, so please take a few minutes to download the app right. before we close the door and you have to turn your phones off. And, and so I, I didn't realize I had an older United app. 
So right after she made that announcement, I downloaded the new app, and it was kind of fun. There were maybe uh, a dozen movies and 24 TV shows, but it was certainly enough to fill up. I think it was coming back from Vegas to fill the time. It's so funny to me, too, because these devices we carry around with us all the time, A, you're going to be carrying this on a plane anyway, so they're not costing any fuel based off the weight. Uh, but how much better quality is it? I mean, this screen yes. is incredible compared to that crummy screen that was built <laughs> in to the seat back in front of you. So uh, much, much better uh, solution, uh, in my opinion. Yeah. So that's good. That's good. Okay. okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's no commercial, so that means it's time for no, Chad. Uh, uh, crappy Chad. Crappy Corner. Get it. Get it. Uh, so this is uh, the continuation of Hobby Month. Talking about hobbies and uh, you know things that people do to kill time. Uh, and I thought, oh, what a lot of people's hobby is, and especially now as a new homeowner, uh, I would agree, is uh, is DIY, DIY projects um, around the house. You know, fixing something up, changing something so it looks better, um, all that that sort of thing. In fact, just you know, I mentioned a few weeks ago I was working on my uh, the the fence around my house needed to be stained. Um, my parents actually came, we helped work on that. Um, so those sorts of DIY projects uh, around the house is a, a great hobby for people to have. So I wanted to find something that could make those projects easier. And I found the Whippick. The Whippick, it's a weird name, but it is a, yeah. it is a vibrating brush. Let's pull this out. It comes with two different brush heads, uh, as long as as well as the brush handle, and a brush head carrying case. So whenever you get uh, whenever you get paint onto the brush head, you can place it into a little container to keep that fresh. It requires two AA batteries. Uh, they were not included, so I added those inside of there. And there is a very large switch right on top to turn the brush handle on. And so this is what it sounds like. What's funny is the whole handle sort of vibrates until, turn it off, and you put one of the brush heads on it and then just the brush head will vibrate. Now what you're probably thinking is why? <laughs> what's and, does it, and doesn't it throw paint everywhere? What's the use? So uh, I actually have a little bit of paint. Hope, we're going to try to be very careful uh, oh with this God. paint. And the, the, the reason that they say that this is a, an improvement over, and I, I shook this up before the show, uh, an improvement over normal brushes is that you don't have to use tape in order to tape off an area before you use the brush. There we go. We got that off there. And the reason is because you don't have to constantly pick up the brush and wipe. You can lay the brush onto a surface and just continue to glide the brush along. So you can even see this on their, on their packaging. You know, no more masking tape. That's masking tape with an X on it. Easy to clean and store. Uh, you can get around corners. It comes with a detailed brush head. All of, all of these exciting features with the Whippick vibrating electric brush. Cut the edge. Cut. The cut in edge revolutionizing. What? Okay, anyway. Moving on. <laughs> so I have a little bit of... And you can do your teeth. Oh my gosh, you can cut anything with these. Uh, so you have, I have a, a normal uh, piece of scrap, scrap wood. So we're going to go ahead and put the paint onto the brush. I want to see a solid, straight... So do you want me... I'm going to try first. You're right. I'm scared there's paint going to go everywhere. So I'm just going to turn it on just kind of above the... Oh, we can't see oh, look the line. There you go. There you okay, go. so it's it's dripping the paint off the top of the, of the brush. But I would say... Here, I'm going to turn it off and switch to the product camera. It's kind of okay. interesting to see. There we go. 
Um, it's not really splattering too much. Kind of did there. <laughs> Obviously, this is not a dedic you know, what you want to do. But look at that. The, the paint is kind of dripping down to the end of the bristles, and that's you what know, they're... Is the, you know, is the brush... The, so the brush is now vibrating? It's not right now. Oh, it, okay. It is now. It doesn't vibrate very much, so... No. You can kind of keep painting. So I'll turn it off here. Turn it off. And this is what it's like if I just, you know, keep it off. Okay, so I've run out of paint. Let's turn it on. And the paint's back. Turn it off. So it's shaking no paint. the paint out of the bristles? Yeah, it's, it shakes the paint right out of the bristles to the front. So let's turn it off. Yeah. Turn it on. And first I kind of... So kinda... you, uh, uh, to paint the house would be about nine months? <laughs> exactly. So you can't go a little faster. So here, I'll turn it on and go a little bit. It's very interesting. I can see sort of like paint. Uh, it looks like it's putting on a fairly heavy coat of paint. Yeah, it's like one coat. This is interesting. Is that the biggest brush they have, do you know? Yeah, this is the largest brush. Okay. It definitely feels like it is pushing the paint into more area than... Then, uh, here, I'm turning it off. And even if I was to go just as slow as I was before, this is a, this is a experiment, Gizwiz experiment kind of ends there. Turning it on. Let's do a, a second coat, just as slow. Ah! Uh, it, it, I can't kind of feel that there's a difference. But it is subtle. It is very subtle, if there is one. Yeah, it's just, it depends on how much it was. Uh, it was here. Uh, let me pull up the price. Now, what, what it's really claiming is that you can paint without needing any type of tape. And so, on a corner, you can take this and press it right up into the corner and just keep painting forward uh, without needing to, to you know, no, use a normal brush and do that. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry that I was off camera. And keep, you know, keep making swipes and accidentally uh, brush onto the side of something. So that's what it's, it's claiming. They have some videos, too, showing off this process on uh, their Amazon. So the price of this electric brush is $20. $20 oh. for the Whippic WPS World and Vibrating Electric Brush. Say goodbye to painter's tape. There's only two reviews. Uh, this is a, a kind of a newish product. Uh, five stars, though, on those two reviews, but who knows? Yeah, the president and the vice president. You're right, exactly. The marketing, uh, VP of marketing <laughs> and uh, their friend. Um, so this is, this is what I was showing oh, okay. before. So this is, uh, they just turned off the vibrating, turned on the vibrating, and you get more paint. So the vibrating action pushes the paint towards the end of the bristles, which I ha I feel like that's what it w was doing, which is a good sign. All right. So, <laughs> what do you think? $20 for a vibrating Ooh. brush. Uh, use it just like a normal brush. Here she is getting ready oh, to Oh, let's paint. see this. Windows. I have windows are the worst. So, oh, well, they cut away from that. I was just going to say. <laughs> there you go. There's a window. Oh, no, There's your back window. Back to the window. And look at that. What do you think, that. Dennis? We have an artist in the room. I'm asking Dennis. No? It'd be fun to try. It'd, It'd be, be fun, fun to, to try. try. Right. Yeah. I feel like I need really a good corner uh, to, to test this out on. Um, now, of course. I think it, you're brave to have an open can of paint on your. On my set? On your control desk. <laughs> you know, you got to risk it. You got to risk it for yeah. the show. Um, bring, I'm bringing up another. another. I kind of want to get what they, what they just did there in the, uh, 
you know, see if see if I can recreate the the action. I'm trying to get this more on camera here. Where okay, vibrating is on. Whoa. Okay, vibrating. Vibrating off. I don't know. I don't know about the vibrating on. I mean, it definitely feels like it loads the brush bristles up, and that's a uh, a cleaner line. It also it makes you clean a line. It uh, makes you yeah. kind of stop, you know, and slow down because you can definitely feel that there is a uh, the brush is almost moving itself. It's like when the brush almost wants to move uh, is when you move. I feel I feel pretty confident that this is actually doing something, although it is a little difficult to 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 fully. <laughs> well, that's a that's a pretty straight line. I mean, that's a pretty straight it. line. Oh, I just knocked something. Uh oh, I just knocked uh, the paint top off the. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There's uh, nothing like getting paint all over your carpet, your brand new carpet. So yeah. So uh, and then of course you have two you have two two paint heads. Very easy to remove and switch from one to another. Uh, this is what they are calling the detail paint head. Uh, there's no mechanism to uh, turn this on or off. It, you, there's no threads is what I'm trying to say. You just use force to press it onto the top of the paintbrush and uh, get it to work again. <laughs> this, this one kind of uh, goes a little crazy when you turn it on. It, Oh my God! Oh, look at that! <laughs> but when you press it onto a uh, a surface, it uh, it calms it down. It stops. Yeah. Oh, it, <laughs> wow. So. What, what, what is the official name of this thing? This is the we Wipic, W I P I C. No clue what this stands for. Wipic. <laughs> no clue. Okay. Um, okay. But that's what it is: the electric vibrating paint brush. Uh, the one thing that I do like the best about this is that it's easy to switch off heads and that uh, you have a carrying case. And, um, of course, you could fill this with something like uh, paint thinner or something to, or water maybe um, if it's a uh, water-based paint to, uh, to keep the brush uh, clean. So that's, that's kind of nice. I do like that feature that you can just throw this somewhere and you have a, uh, a, a clean paint head or a, a dirty paint head that's not going to get anything else uh, too dirty. So anyway... That's the gadget. I don't know. What would you? Uh, it sounds like a try. Is what you, you'd like to try yeah. this for yourself? I, I I dislike painting intensely, and <laughs> and it's funny. There are certain things at the hardware show that every year there's a new version of, and paint brushes are certainly one of them. <laughs> you know, there was one with the paint the paint brush like. You paint it at an angle so that you would hold the paintbrush like this, <laughs> so that you could do this. Uh, so this is weird. Just yeah, weird yeah, this stuff. This is certainly a try. I, I mean, you, you're right. You can't tell anything from just two reviews, but I mean, it looked like it. Uh, it something looked like more it was worked. happening. I would what, definitely, yeah. if I had to paint a trim, and I didn't want to pull out all the painter's tape, I would feel much more confident with this because I am not constantly wiping uh, to get paint brushes. And this definitely seems like I could keep it a lot more steady because of there's a lot less motion on my end and of course the, the, the paint brush is vibrating. Um, I can bring it to the meetup, uh, definitely. It's And we can paint people. Exactly, I think I might get some looks if I carry this in my <laughs> carry-on as to what I am using this for, uh, but that's a different podcast. So, uh, $20 for the Whippick WPS, no clue uh, what that stands for, uh, the Vibrating Electric Paintbrush, say goodbye to Painter's Tape. I love it when they put little sayings in their titles. Yes, the official right name is Say Goodbye to Painter's Tape. Uh, that's my crappy corner. Uh, come back next week for another uh, hobby gadget. Now, we are moving on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When 
gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dave's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. Horn. Love the new video intro. Oh, it's great. So, so I thought nice. with the new video intro, I would go back to an old video since um, it's six and a half years ago when I shot this. And this is for people who don't realize that there is a real three-dimensional... A real warehouse. A real high-priced, expensive... <laughs> Manhattan. New <laughs> Manhattan, York, New York. A New York warehouse. So this is uh, that six and a half year old video. Hey, I'm at the Gadget Warehouse. I can't show you the outside of the building, but this is Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Come along with me. Now, he, this feels like Harry Potter. Just some <laughs> green gods. And yes. we're going to go down here. And. Oh my gosh, they don't make doors like that anymore. That's the old elevator. Everything's oh. metal, metal and brick. Okay. Are you still with me? Okay, now. Very dark in there, so I'm going to turn on the light. I'm just going to hang that light up there. And, uh, hi! How you doing? Yeah, good to see you. Some, uh, people who live in there because, you know, Rent in, New York City. <laughs> Rent in New York City is so expensive. Uh, they're not really living in there. They're actually just cleaning up. Okay, so now... Welcome to this part of Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, one of my favorite things is talking. Bubba, how you doing? Hey, are you doing anything important? Yeah, I'm talking to the crew. Bubba, say hello to the people. Hey, are you doing anything important? Oh, Bubba. That's all you can say. Bubba, Bubba has weak batteries. And Bubba is stuck on saying, Hey, are you doing anything important? <laughs> okay. Um, so that's the freight elevator that makes that racket. Who knows what untold treasures are in every couple of weeks I come and I unpack boxes to find really neat stuff. Let me see if I can just find something. Oh, we did this on the show. This was, um, the kids are very clever. What was it called again? Oh, it's called Susie Snapshot. And the camera would uh, send a flash to the doll and the dog had light senses all over her, and she would take a different pose every time you click the camera. No batteries in it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We have tons of, we have lighting gadgets. We have, this thing shines up on the ceiling and makes this thing. You know what this guy is? Actually, it's a rock speaker for your garden. So it goes out in the garden, looks like that. Uh, plug in a transmitter into your hi-fi, your stereo, your hi-fi. Uh, and then it transmits uh, to the garden up to 150 feet away. Uh, I have to do that. I don't think I did that on it. Yeah, actually, this might be the next Daily Gizwiz, actually. I think it will be. I think it's going to be the next Gadget Warehouse Friday. See, I come like usually every couple weeks to get Gadget Warehouse Friday stuff. And we're showing you how high up this goes. I just have tons of stuff. And, oh, another mad thing. What did I just find? The mad, what looked like me? Oh, the, the mad official disguise kit. Okay, so it has, it has Alfred E. Ears in it. You know, so, like, this stuff is probably worth some money. And uh, I've had rooms in the warehouse for more than 30 years. So I have spent about a hundred and oh, over a hundred thousand dollars in storage. So that's uh, pretty much what it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start opening boxes and looking for mad treasures. But I thought you'd like to uh, have a little peek around. And you did. So get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Go home. Go home.
Get at it. Traditional New Yorker. <laughs> so, if I remember correctly, I, I actually, I think I remember the last time you played this. Uh, uh, this is, you know, before I was hosting. Um, wasn't the Mona Lisa stored in this storage area at one point or something like that? The Mo- no. I don't remember. Uh, no, no, there was... It- it did have a very interesting thing is that the top floor of the Sophia warehouse for many years was rented out to IBM and they were developing, I think, war projects or something and no one was allowed up to the top floor and they, no one knew that IBM was up there doing these projects. So it does have a, a, a bit of history. Oh, cool! And, and it was and and it's it was built as a warehouse, and it's only, I mean, it's it's wildly expensive. It's four hundred dollars a month. The only saving thing about it is, it's literally a block and a half from where I'm speaking right now. Uh, so that's uh, that's good. But people always come in and go, "Which room is the warehouse?" <laughs> and I go, "No." <laughs> Room. It's an entire. It's building. a real warehouse. It's no, a it's real a, warehouse. Absolutely, that's incredible. And uh, they, they really do not make doors like that anymore. Or this, you have to go and take an extension cord and plug it in to get light into your warehouse. Yes, yes. And those clanky old elevator. The oh elevator is big enough uh, for a car. Because the top floor, evidently, I don't know if it's still that way. The top floor was when IBM had it just open, and the the elevator is the the freight elevator is certainly big enough that you can drive a car in it. And uh, oh, you when you get to Taurus, you when I get can. To- uh, uh, what car are you getting again? Oh, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. the uh, the Tesla. The te- I can the store Tesla. my Tesla I, there. The, the Tesla, you can park right. it on the top floor. Exactly. I just mean, say I'm a friend. Of, I'm a ex uh, IBM employee. Right. I just want to put my car in the top Listen, floor. Listen, uh, I think that we still have uh, you know renters agreements uh, going back. Uh, I know that uh, you know rent control is a touchy subject here in New York, <laughs> but I'm pretty positive. <laughs> I can still rent out the top floor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's incredible. So a, a peak of the actual gadget. The real warehouse. gadget. And, and, I, and I was just thinking, when you consider that room is $400, and the fact that the last time I walked by the parking lot, indoor parking, um, it was $780 a month. Yeah. Ooh. Plus Eighteen percent tax. Oh my gosh! So oh you're roughly gosh. in for about nine hundred dollars a month to park a car. Wow! Wow! New York, uh, man, that's expensive. That's Expense. insane. Yeah. Moving on to the whoop, 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 nope, that's the wrong one. Letter. <laughs> Exciting. And this letter is kind of fun because um, there's a whole thing now with these plasma arc lighters. Right. And now we have another edition from Brian Horowitz, who writes, Dick and Chad, after the video from the viewer about the arc lighter, I was looking on Amazon and I found and bought the double arc lighter what so take a look at that it uses now, two how does that work two of them and you know what uh, brian if you're listening you should make us a video uh he says it lights candles and paper very fast and look at those cases that's incredible and you know what how does the how does the arc know that's what I'm thinking. How how, how can, does the arc know not to go right across? I'd assume but, that it was something like you know positive, negative, negative, positive. But 
even then, you would think that it would jump up and down, and it up wouldn't and go across. Yeah. Unless it does know. that, and it does it so fast, and, and the photo stopped it. Who but, knows? That's incredible. And, and what was the price of that one? Um, $29. Oh, $29. wow. Right. That's oh, no, it's 20, 2009, right? 20, oh, you're right. $20.99. Nine sorry, cents. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yes, I okay. got stuck on 30. That's inc- the, the detail on that, if that's actually <laughs> how good it looks in person, that yeah, looks Yeah, now amazing. I'm beginning to think that mine is so, so nothing. Come back to me for a second. Mine is just, I bought one too. And you see, mine is just... A little single. The arc question across. is: Does it make a lot of noise when it lights? It's Mine. Impressive. Oh, yeah, it's his. Right, right. Yeah, because uh, our first, the official letter, the the very first arc light we saw, made a like a hissing sound, right. and it had like a ribbon of electricity. I didn't realize there's also other colors, so I, I didn't even see this. Oh, look at these! All look in at this these dragon things. motif. Uh, and the same wow. cross, cross arc. There's a yeah. fleet gold one. They have some. It is so funny when, like, you find a new category of something and then realize that th- there are so many versions of it. I know. All right, so who's going to be the first to email us in with the pictures of their triple arc lighting? <laughs> this is. It's like the. Uh, <laughs> what happened to razors a little while ago? I was like. You know, one razor is not good enough. Now we no, got yes. two, three, <laughs> yeah. six, eight, sixteen razors. Yes, a lawnmower blade <gasps> that you run over your face. That's incredible. Uh, Brian, uh, thank you very much for finding yet another interesting arc lighter. That's really cool. Very, very neat. Uh, I mean, every sing- this has been now three weeks in a row, and I felt. Oh, now I, now I have to buy one. Now I need to get one. I feel like if I well, hold you out... Have to, you, you, you should, on your time off, go through Amazon and see if you can find something none of us have. Oh, my... Yeah, I know. This is a triple R collider. This is, is the Chinese. Yeah, oh the Chinese. Oh, my gosh. I, I feel like if I hold out for place. just a little bit longer, someone's going to write it. No, this is the best life. Like, oh, <laughs> that, there we go. Now, finally, I know exactly what to get. Uh, we're coming to the end of our show, but we still have a little bit of news to tell you about. But first, thank you so much. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting the show on Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com is a place where you can support independent content creators. And uh, we have our own Patreon page uh, with lots of people, 318 patrons right now, uh, supporting our show. Big, big, big thank you to our Patreon supporters. You get access to... Uh, basically, we ask you guys questions first about the show, about the crappy corner themes, about anything that pops into our head, and of course, you get the satisfaction of supporting the show, and we are so grateful for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, don't forget to heck, uh, to fig- bleh, uh, go on <laughs> over to gizwiz.biz and play What the Heck Is It? Uh, there is um, uh, a new gadget, uh, it's only been up for a few weeks. Uh, that we have to decide what it is and send it over. All you do is go to gizwiz.biz, click on what the heck is a banner over on the side, and we got to figure out what the heck this gadget is. Uh, I'm going to say this is a, uh, you showed off earlier uh, the hot dog and bun contraption. Well, those hot dogs are quite hot. And might explode. So you have uh, this gripping tool to grab those hot dogs and a nice safety plate just in case those hot dogs explode because we all know that happens all the time. Uh, If you think you know what this is, uh, get your guesses over to Dickie D. And there's 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, 24 for cute, hilarious, silly, ridiculous, and clever answers. You can also, at, while you're at gizwiz.biz, check out the show notes. Uh, Dick writes up uh, articles about every single one of the gadgets that we cover. We're recording early, so none of the gadgets uh, on this show 
is uh, up there. And if you miss a show, you can go to gizwiz.tv, excuse me, and download the show or subscribe for future episodes. Also, whenever we are live, normally on Thursday at around 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, that is where you can see the show live and join the chat room just below it. And then that won't be there if, uh, if we're not live. Um, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, don't forget that on uh, October 2nd, we are having our Gizwiz meetup in New York at the Boat Basin Cafe on the Hudson River. Uh, go ahead and RSVP, head on over to uh, gizwiz.biz, click on Dick's login blog, and uh, you can send uh, him an email there. Uh, oh, you know what? We also forgot to, to mention, um, if you have a Gizwiz uh, gadget warehouse, you can send it in. Yes. That, yes. That. Go ahead. Uh, not only a gadget warehouse, but uh, we've started something new thanks to uh, viewers who sent in reviews of brand new gadgets. That's <laughs> That's how we all got hooked into these arc lighters. So if you have a new gadget, uh, make a little video, two to three minutes, and uh, put it on YouTube as unlisted and send us the link. That way uh, people won't accidentally watch your video if you don't want them to. And send it to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if you don't have a new gadget, but an old gadget, we really love those. A two to three minute video. And we know that you do because we get emails all the time that I have that in my closet. I have that in the basement. I have that in the attic. There are a certain number of gadgets that people love so much that even though they're worthless and old, they can't throw them out. And every time we have a video about a gadget like that, we get emails going, oh, it's so great to see so-and-so. The most mail ever was for uh, someone who sent in a video about the Radio Shack 100, like the first laptop black and white computer that ran on <laughs> that ran for like five days on four AA batteries. <laughs> so no, no matter what you have in, the, in your warehouse, and we know your warehouse is your kitchen drawer, or your attic, or a shelf in a closet. Uh, make a video, and we're out of. <clears throat> we're pretty much out of videos. So send it to mail at gizwiz tv, and it might be on next week's show, which is Monday this week. Monday, Monday. We're recording our live show on Monday. If you watch the pre-recorded version or download, nothing will change for you. It'll be in your podcatcher as normal. That about wraps it up for this episode of the Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.